haven't watched Captain Marvel since it first came out in theaters a couple years back, but I figured that it was probably time for me to give it a rewatch since uh, Ms. Marvel uh, is a new series coming out on Disney Plus, uh, and Captain Marvel is the hero that uh, the main character of that upcoming series, Kamala Khan, really looks up to, so I figured I should give myself a refresher on the story. Uh, and also, I just like supporting things that a bunch of misogynist assholes hate. That being said, uh, I don't recall this being like the best Marvel movie, but nowhere near the level of hate that was leveled at it or at its star Brie Larson. Brie Lawson? Larson. Uh, but that being said, I'm about to rewatch it and I'll give you my thoughts in just a sec. So I am... 41 minutes into the movie and so far I'm enjoying it. it. I'm not like glued to the edge of my seat, but like I'm having a good time. There have been some fun action sequences. Uh, there have been some good jokes. Uh, I'm following the plot uh, enough uh, that I'm, you know, what I'm supposed to follow. Uh, and one of the biggest reasonable criticisms that I see about this movie, you know, other than all of the sexist and misogynistic stuff that is not reasonable and we're just going to ignore it, uh, is that because Carol Danvers uh, doesn't have her memory throughout the movie, it feels like we don't really get to know her, uh, and so the movie just kind of falls flat, and I kind of call bullshit on that. Uh, yes, she doesn't have her memory right now, but one that lets us have some m many different cool ways of, like, memories resurfacing. We have the dream at the beginning, we have the scroll memory probe, uh, we have her walking into a familiar place and seeing like flashes of uh, herself from the past. Uh, so, so far three different ways to uh, visually show memories resurfacing, which was cool. Uh, and also, uh, it's not her personality wasn't erased, so we're still getting to see fun moments where She's asking Fury questions about his past to prove that he's not a scroll, and uh, she has some fun banter with him, uh, and we get to see her, uh, you know, her person. I mean, she has... Watch the movie. <laughs> she has a personality. Uh, and part of the fun of her not having her memories is this is her first movie appearance, uh, and she's not, like, some big, super well-known superhero, at least not before the MCU movies. She's not, like, Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman, where, like, everybody, like, knows the gist. Uh, so while she is discovering her past, we're discovering it through her own eyes. Uh, we are on the same page as the main character in terms of her backstory, which is an interesting way to introduce a character. And I'm also a big fan of uh, when she's fighting the squirrels in the hallway and the one snarls at her, she does a uh, snarky snarl back, she's like, <laughs> It's fun, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep watching and uh, see how it continues to progress. I love the parallel scene of both Captain Marvel and Fury figuring out that the person directly above them who they report to, uh, they can't trust. Uh, in Nick Fury's case, he discovers that this person is a scroll through uh, a slip of the tongue in the scrolls part, uh, calling him Nicholas instead of Fury, and then uh, Fury confirms it by saying, oh, the pincer maneuver like we did in Havana, which obviously he made up, and uh, we're just seeing, it. he's not spelling it out, but uh, we can see the, uh, the plan going on from him, and at the same time, Captain Marvel is on the uh, phone, or the interstellar hacked phone, uh, with her person, and she's like, yo, there's evidence that I was here before, and he's like, what? No, remember your training. Uh, I love how that, those scenes occur at the same time and are interspliced together, uh, so it really makes uh, Nick Fury and Captain Marvel feel like they are both on their own and that they need to comp they will need to come together and complete this together. I just thought that was cool, so I wanted to talk about it, about it right after I'd seen it. Continuing on with my watch. I love seeing Fury interact with Goose, and I totally get it. Isn't that right, Bruno, baby? Isn't that right? Such a good baby cat. Yeah, who's the sweetest little baby cat? Oh, yeah. Cats are good. Is Captain Marvel worth the hate? Absolutely not. No, that was good. That was a good movie. That was a good time. Uh, I enjoyed it. 
from start to finish. Um, is it the best superhero movie ever? No. Is it really good and fun all the way through with great character chemistry, a decent enough villain, a fun plot, fun characters? Yeah. Uh, and a cute cat, as Bruno points out from the side. I'm glad I rewatched it. I think I might rewatch it more often in the future. I haven't seen it since it came out in theaters, but that was, that was a good movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it in a while, I recommend you check it out again, especially since Ms. Marvel's coming out, and then uh, not too long after, I forget if it's next year or the year after, but uh, uh, the sequel, Mar Captain Marvel movie, is coming out, which will have uh, the return of Carol Danvers, as well as more Kamala Khan uh, from the Ms. Marvel series coming out this week. I'm excited to see it, and excited to continue to see what the MCU pulls off. Well, thank you very much for watching, and have a good week.